Forsyth Park, 30 acres long, located in the heart of Savannah. From its iconic fountain, lush walking path, and vibrant garden, you will see why this is a main tourist attraction and the perfect location for us to explore fitness topic as we get to know our new guests a lot better. Woo! Hey, you guys will not believe who I have for you guys today. This guy has been going crazy on social media. His content is fire. He's new to the scene and his story is amazing. So we're about to get to know him a little bit more in depth and find out what's taking up here that got him just out here looking solid and inspiring you guys to change your life. Let's get into it. Oh, I'm Nigerian, yeah, so. Oh, you're a Niger boy. Uh, so, approximately like six years. Yeah, yeah, you can say that, yeah. Six years, yeah. six meals. Yeah, yeah, I know it sounds like a lot. <laughs> six meals, <laughs> God damn. Yeah, Yeah, this is not the this is not the beginning. What's up, bro? How you living, man? Good, man. Thanks for having hey, me. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you, no bro. Problem, no problem. Thank so, you. So we're outside in Forsyth Park, Savannah, Georgia. But my man Big Noah is based in Houston. Flew in so we can get this content and just get you guys his story and inspire y'all. So first and first, introduce yourself, brother. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Big Noah. Um, I'm a fitness creator on all platforms: YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Um, yeah. You know, I, uh, I'm based out of Houston. I create fitness content. Uh, I train people. I'm a personal trainer as well. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's it for me. Hey, yo, so Noah, tell me about your story, man. What got you into fitness? I was looking for a way to express myself without being too vocal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I ended up just, I found the gym in high school. My older brothers were into it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of brought me along. That was my first introduction to the gym. Yeah. You know? And then uh, as I got older, I started doing sports. I was doing college uh, track and field. They kind of got me into the weight room as far as a regimen goes, you know yeah. what I'm saying? A strict regimen goes. And from there, I just uh, I used the knowledge for my degree. Uh -huh. uh, I was a, a kinesiology major. Yeah. And uh, I used that knowledge to help build my own personal physique. Mm -hmm. And then I just apply that same knowledge to others as well when I, you know, when I train clients. Yeah, so. Yo, that's dope, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so originally, where where are you from? Uh, I'm Nigerian. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, you're a Niger boy. Absolutely. West Africa, baby. I think, now. Oh shit, <laughs> my boy. Yo, we've been going crazy. West Africa is changing the fitness game, Absolutely. man. And y'all better get staying tuned, cause mm -hmm. yeah, this is not the this is not the beginning. <laughs> this is just the start, Absolutely. not the beginning. Absolutely. All right. Um. So, did you grow up in Nigeria? Yeah. So I lived in Nigeria uh, as a kid. Um, I grew up, my, most of my childhood was here in the States, mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm happy though, because I, I had a taste of Nigeria as a young as a young boy, so yeah. it kind of helped shape me 100%. before I came here, because you know, um, the U.S. can be, it, it can be a lot yeah. you know, mentally, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. if, you have, if you're grounded in that culture uh, 100%, from an early man. age, it helps, it helps big time. So yeah, yeah absolutely. So what got you into social media, creating content, and how has that been for you so far? Yeah, so uh, what got me into social media, in college, I would help people, right? People yeah. would come up to me and be like, hey, can you help me? Like, give me a workout, this, that, and the third. So I would always do that, you know, off on the low key, on low key vibe, you know what I mean? Nobody really knew. Yeah. And then I had a friend of mine who was like, basically told me, yo, you should, you should think about posting your videos. That way yeah. people can just, it don't really matter. They don't have to come to you directly. They yeah. can get your information just from coming to your page. Yeah. So I started doing that a little bit in college and it was only after I graduated when I really, I saw there was an actual world that was doing it too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I didn't have the blueprint in college. I just was throwing videos up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then uh, after that, after I graduated, I really tried to, I really tried to push uh, as much of my information out as I could. Cause there's a lot of crazy information online. hundred percent. I realized that, there's you know what I mean? So there's, many. Absolutely. So it's like, and when you know, especially if you have like a, if you have a background in in the actual uh, in actual movements and things of that nature, so yeah. 
you know when something's false when it's not. Yeah. And you can see people buying into it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I was just wanting to put out all of my own personal information that I know is right. It's right. And, and it's facts you, and it's ex proven. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I know I'm doing right by the community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what really got me into it. And I've just been doing that ever since. Yo, that's crazy, man. With that being said, how long have you been doing fitness content? How long have you been really training to build this physique that you have? Oh, uh, I've been doing fitness content for, I would say, I would give it the last like three years. Mm -hmm. uh, I started around uh, around COVID. Yeah. When I started really putting out uh, videos and things like that. Yeah. So it's been uh, it's been a couple years, you know what I'm saying? And uh, as far as actual training, where I knew what I was doing. Yeah. I would say since. I would say since like 2019. 2019. When I when I really knew, okay, I had a foundation of what to do, what not to do for the physique I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was focused on trying to get swole. Yeah. Early on, and yeah. you know what I mean? Because I did a lot of like uh, a lot of like a power movements as a, as a as a track and field athlete. Yeah. So I wanted to switch it up, and I really just try to get masterful. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's a different way to train for each outcome that you yeah. want. You know each what I'm saying? Goals, so yeah. absolutely. So once I figured that out, I was just I was locked in after that. So. Approximately like six years. Yeah, yeah, you can say that, yeah. Six years yeah. to build your physique. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, the reason I say that is because people will look at us yeah. and they think they can do it in like two yeah. weeks. <laughs> Them, like, yeah, no, I ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work like no. that. No. For sure, it's not gonna work like that. So they'll they'll go and they'll start hopping on all these damn drugs, yep. all these crazy things, yep. trying to look like us yep. in two weeks. Yeah. Six years. Yeah, absolutely. So that's phenomenal. And your physique is nice. Yeah, but you guys, it, it took him six years six of hard work, hard dedication, absolutely. beating at his crap absolutely. to perfect it to what you guys see now. Absolutely. So that tells you something. Like you gotta be patient. You gotta you gotta learn. You gotta enjoy the journey. Because in that journey, in that six years, the mindset that you see now is what he's built and developed. That's right. And and that's why he can speak um so profoundly for you guys to understand and train you guys, Absolutely. you know? So, um, what have you learned in this whole process of, of your fitness journey? Exactly what you just mentioned, like, it's not gonna come overnight. Mm -hmm. You gotta be patient, patience. And, and a lot of times, nobody really knows everything when they, when they, when when they, they start, start out. Yeah. So it's like, you're gonna, it's trial and error, trial yeah. and error. The whole thing is just one big trial and error. You know what I'm saying? You, you try something for a long time, and a lot of people think that, okay, if I just, look at how one person is doing it and apply it to yourself, mm -hmm. it'll work. Yeah. Nine times out of 10, it won't work because everybody's body is is uh, is uh, very uh, special in its own way. Yeah. It, it's, everybody's body works differently. So what works for you might not work for me. Mm -hmm. and I could I can mess around and do what you do for the next eight years and not make any progress. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because everybody's body is a little different. On the other hand, it might it, it might work. You know what I'm saying? You just yeah. don't know. That's the trial and error part about it. Yeah. You know, so I, I learned that, you know, um, delayed gratification big time because you can look, especially when you're looking online and you yeah. see people that are like, they already have the physique you want. Mm -hmm. And you look in the mirror, you're like, I, damn. You're like, you're like, damn, you I, said, got, I got well, work to do. I guarantee some kid is watching this like six, six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what Trey have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but that's the thing. Like, they're like, I'm not waiting six years. But, six years, hell no. Nah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But you know what I mean. But if, if if you if you do it like I've never used anything like that. So if you yeah. do it like the natural way, it's gonna take time. Yeah. There's no way around it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And and it's no better time to start than 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 now. If you want a physique, if you want to get big. Yeah. Then you gotta you gotta put the time in. That's what I learned. In. That's what I learned firsthand. I'm telling you. All right. So a, a key and important factor into fitness is your nutrition. Absolutely. So can you explain and tell us a little bit about what it takes on the nutrition side yeah, yeah. to build your physique? Man. Okay. So for me, I do. I like to do six meals a day. You mm -hmm. know, that sounds like a lot. Six meals. Yeah. Yeah. I know it sounds like a lot. <laughs> Six meals. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I know it's not like a lot, but I like to do six meals. So I do, um, uh, for me, I like to keep uh, protein high. Mm -hmm. And I like to keep my carbs. I, I plan my carbs. So I only take in carbs when I'm about to work out. So I know I'm using them yeah. for my workout. You know what I mean? I don't want I don't want uh, leftover carbs. You feel me? Yeah. So I, uh, I that's all I do, man. I do six meals a day, high protein, uh, planned carbs. I pick and choose when I put my carbs in. And uh, yeah, that's really it. And how many how many calories is each meal? I'm doing. I don't necessarily track the calories. Yeah. I, I, I hopefully I just try to keep it around above 3,500. Mm -hmm. If I'm above 3,500, that's the baseline for me. Okay. I don't really look too much into the calories. My main focus is 
is protein. Yeah. Making sure I have my protein amount because, you know, that's that's what the muscle needs. Needs to maintain you know I mean? and build. I know, I know you need calories, but yeah. when you're eating that much, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to be in a surplus. I count yeah. a surplus no matter yeah. what. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's important that I get my, uh, my protein count in and I keep my carbs low. Yeah. And, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So I try to do at least 3,500 a day. Mm -hmm. um, if I can get up to 4,500 on a, on a bulk, I'm, I like that, I would do, you know what I mean? I'll do yeah. that. But yeah, that's that's the range for me. So daily at a minimum 3,500. That's right. And what are you sitting at? What's your weight right now? I'm like uh, 245, man. 245, I, I'm around, wow. I'm around 245. Bro, man. that's freaking crazy, bro. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm, I'm sitting around 245 to 250 yeah. myself. Yeah, 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 I feel that. So yeah. you guys can just see like the, the, the different physique styles. Absolutely. Um, because he's at 245. Yeah. I say at 245 as yeah. well. I eat one meal a day, he eats six meals a day. Exactly. And, but same thing we have in common here is just high protein. Yep. Right? That's, it's no going past that. <laughs> you can't. You need you can't, protein you can't get to build it. muscles. That's right. It's the building blocks. That's right. Absolutely. All right? And then also, like the carbs, he's saying that 3,500 calories. Yeah. And I'm saying that like 5,000 calories. Yeah. Because again, different height, different, different body mm -hmm. types. That's right. So I need more to That's be right. able to maintain at that weight. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's phenomenal, bro. Yeah, I'm not. So thanks for breaking that shit down. Absolutely. Let's get into this. So with you eating six meals, yeah. how do you fit that into your schedule? Yeah, so I got kind of, I wake up real, real early to mm -hmm. eat my first meal. What time you wake up? I wake up at like 6 a.m. Wow. If I can if I can get up around 5.30, I'll do that. Yeah. Because uh, I work with my clients usually. My first call is around 6.30. Yeah. So I wake up, try to get a meal in before then. Uh -huh. And then I'll just, every like three hours, I'll try to get something in, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, usually in the middle of the day, I'm real busy. Mm -hmm. So I can't just, I can't just eat all the time. So I got to get my meals in early early in the day yeah. and then later on in the day. So that's what I do, you know what I mean? I, I save my meals for early in the day and then kind of early evening mm -hmm. and I just knock those out. Three in the, in the beginning of the day, three in the, in the after, uh, in the evening around yeah. there and yeah. that's it. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. What are the pros and cons to the fitness world that you've seen so far? Like creating content, working with influencers and stuff like that? Yeah, so I think the pros, the pros is that you can, um, the knowledge everybody has, yeah. right? The knowledge everybody has, it, you can apply it to, your, to your, yourself, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And you can also help them out by sharing your knowledge and that can help each person grow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as their physique, if somebody has a goal physique, like there's, there's a lot of influencers that maybe they don't exactly have the educational background, yeah. but they, they are gifted genetically, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and so they've learned from their experiences. Ex exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's like, you know, bouncing off knowledge and, and like you said, their experiences are, that's invaluable information, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So them sharing that with you is priceless and then you sharing your information with them is priceless as well. So that's definitely a pro. Uh, a con, I would say, man, um, it's just like people are people at the end of the day. You never know who you're really working with unless you know them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's easy to, social media is easy to, um, appear a certain way yeah and you may not really be that way in real life you know what i'm saying and when you're talking to people it's, you create a relationship with them it, it's a business relationship but it is a relationship nonetheless yeah so it's 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 one of those things like you can't judge somebody off of what you see because mm -hmm. they could be a completely different person when you try to meet with them and yeah. work with them you know what i'm saying yeah. so i would say that's the pros and the cons you know as long as you keep a business mindset about it you know, it's tricky. It's a gamble. Yeah. But at the same time, it's you know, it's something that if you if you work with the right people, it's it's definitely something that can that can yeah. help you know everybody. Yeah. So, man, we've dived deep into who you are, your mindset, yeah. what keeps you going. Absolutely. But I, I want to ask, what's in store for you, for your platform, and your brand? What do you uh, got coming? For me, yeah. Um, I plan on. I want to step on stage. I'm going to do a, uh, a men's physique show this summer. Nice. In uh, September. Oh, yeah, I'll you're going to crush that. I'm going to try, man. I'm going to try. And then after that, I actually want to train for a uh, powerlifting meet. Okay. So I'm going to try to, if I can make noise in both fields, yeah. I'm going to try to do that in, within a short amount of time and see if I can, see if it's possible. Because I haven't really seen it that done before. Yeah. So I figured, you know, why not give it a go? That's crazy. So yeah, I definitely think you're going down the right path Appreciate with the power lifting and the yeah. bodybuilding because you got the physique for it and you got the strength for it. Appreciate so you. So 100%, bro. Yes, sir. I believe in you. Mm -hmm. Crush that thing. Thank like, you. It's been a pleasure, man. Yeah, Thanks yeah, for yeah. coming yeah. on Absolutely. and sharing your story Anytime. with us. Anytime. Shout out to all my Naja people out there. <laughs> we got your boy representing Big Noah. That's right. Hey, everybody go check out his platform. He's doing great things. He's gonna, like, his, his fitness career just started. So 
this is it from there. Uh, everything is up, all right? So check him out, show yeah. some love, um, and appreciate you for coming in and sharing your story with yeah, us. Absolutely, bro. And what do you got to say to the people before we get up out of here? Man, tap in, bro. Tap in with this man right here. The real deal, man. Yeah. No joke. 100%. And with that being said, West Africa to the world. That's right. <laughs>